Amanda, a cross on a view, and my old previous school Cymru, a Jinda Dewey Sant. Welcome, we're live here from the University of Wales, Trinity St David. Well, I'm sure it's been a very busy day for lots of you, and hopefully, you've got your place at university, and hopefully, you are joining us here at UWTSD. Okay, there's some things to get organised, uh, so we will be discussing them in today's show, such as accommodation and getting ready for university, what to buy, what to pack, and that's what we'll be covering in this afternoon's show. If, however, you've missed any of our other shows, please look back on our finance from Dallas. Uh, we've had dive from student services to make sure that we get all those things in place for you before you start with us. Uh, if you're still not sure of where to come or what university to go to and you're looking for courses, look back on our Carmarthen show, our Lampeter show and Swansea show where we give an overview of our courses. Of course, my Google am hosib in the Dechreshards and Pope course on Elcharwevan. See that a screen now. So go if you haven't found a course yet. Look on our uh, website and you will find all the courses we offer here. So Dechre, to start, uh, let's talk about accommodation. Okay, for those students that have secured a place in university now, um, is it too late if they haven't booked accommodation? No, it isn't too late as yet. So if you contact the accommodation department, uh, either by email on accommodation at UWTSD, or uh, give us a call, and we can discuss the options still open to you. And anybody wanting to come to... Uh, we've got some open days over the weekend, haven't yes, we? Yeah. Um, and, and Carly, you came to one of our open days, didn't you? Why would you recommend anybody watching today to come to one of our open days? Um, I'd recommend it because it gives you a feel of the place. Um, you get to know staff, your lecturers or accommodation, and it just gives um, it makes you feel better when you do actually move in then. Okay, brilliant. And going back to accommodation then, we'll be able to view the accommodation on our open days, won't we? Yes, we've always got um, one of the rooms open so that people can have a look inside and understand what what they get for their money then, isn't it? So. so what's the outline with the accommodation? Do you stay in the same room for three years or is it different sections on each campus or what's the...? It's entirely up to the students themselves. I get some students who, yes, want to stay in the same room for the three years. I get others who like to move from hall to hall and, and uh, not that they're any different, but they just like be change friends and things then. And the situation it? with like catering or non-catering, is it catering it's, possibly? It's all non-catering now, um, but there is a, a catering card that you can put, it's like a top-up card, you can put money on uh, so that you can go then to any of the outlets and purchase food during the day, so they anything from breakfast to something in the evening. And there are lots of different places to eat on campuses, aren't there? There's quite a few cafes. You've got the Quad, which is the Star Starbucks coffee shop. Um, you've got the main Merlin restaurant, which does hot meals during the day. And then you've got uh, a coffee shop across in the teaching and learning block as well. Okay. So that's not included in the accommodation price? Just it isn't, to, no, it's okay. additional. But yes. it's available on a card? It is, yes. Right. Okay. yes. And is that true for accommodation on all our campuses? Uh, it is, yeah. This card's available on whether it be Carmarthen, Swansea or Lampeter. You can have this catering card and use it at the outlets. Brilliant. And before we go on, we're just going to watch a quick clip of all our campuses.
Hello, Venu i Alan Jones, Rheolwr Cyfryngau Cymdeithasol Esperdrec. Mae sgiliau iaith Gymraeg wedi bod yn hynod hynod werthfawr i Elskadel y Brifysgol fyny'n ynghyfyrddin. Y fyddi'n gweithio i sawl cwmni lle mae'r iaith Gymraeg wedi bod yn rhan bwysig iawn o weithio'r cwmni. A fyddi dweud yn ôl fyny'n yn ynghorllewyn yn gweithio i Esperdrec fel Rheolwr Cyfryngau Cymdeithasol. Fy'n dynyddio sgiliau iaith Gymraeg bob dydd yn ymwaith, yn broffesiynol, yn y peth y fi'n neud o ddydd i ddydd ac hefyd yn gymdeithasol. Helo, os yma, Nigel Owen sy'n fynyn, a fi jyst mae'n gweithwch chi sut mae'r Cymraeg wedi helpu fi cymaint yn y nyrfa. Mae wedi helpu fi lot, achos mae'n Saesneg un wael i ddechrau gyda, ond na, mae wedi rhoi'r cyfle i fi trwy fod yn ddiweithiog i gael cyfleio oedd i wneud nifer y bethach. Fel rhaglen Jonathan, dymnyddio'r Gymraeg sy'n yn dod yn y tirriol i fi, a mae'r ffaith bod chi'n gallu wneud pethau trwy dymnyddio'r ddwy iaith y Gymraeg, a Saesneg ni unrhyw ddwy neu dair iaith yn ddiweithiog o fod mawr i chi. Felly, byddwch yn brod iawn bod chi'n gallu dymnyddio'r Gymraeg, a Saesneg a unrhyw iaith arall. Hello there, my name is Dave Stacey and I am one of the uh, secondary team here at Theatre Throver. There's never been a better time to get into teaching. Across Wales, schools, teachers and pupils are busy rewriting the entire curriculum. And here at Theatre Throver, we've got brand new PGCE courses starting in September 2019. These are blending state-of-the-art technology here at the university with the expertise and experience of teachers in schools right the way across South Wales. We offer pathways in secondary for four humanities subjects, history, geography, RE and business studies. And if you've got experience, expertise and passion in any of those areas, then we would love to hear from you. There's a real chance here to capture that passion and pass it on to the next generation. So if you've ever thought about stepping into a classroom and sharing your passion with the young people of tomorrow, then please come and get in touch with us here at The Athrover. Um, and that's a lovely overview of our campuses here at UWTSD. Um, we also have our Cardiff campus, which you would have seen there. And on our Cardiff campus, we offer the BA Musical Theatre, in Cwrs Cyfrwng Cymraeg, BA Performio, and the BA Vocal Studies in YAV as well. So if you are coming to our Cardiff campus, what's the best advice for accommodation, Jean? Uh, if you contact us, we'll put you in touch with one of the private providers that is near the campus. Brilliant. So any questions about accommodation, just get in touch. Yes or come to the open day. We'll help you out, yes. Brilliant, just get in touch. And our numbers on the screen, are, we are also available until eight o'clock this evening if you still haven't found your place. So, okay, we've got a place. How are we getting ready? Yeah. So Naomi, and we'll ask you a bit about like, so if they are, if they've got their accommodation, everything sorted, to make it feel more like a home from home, how do you go about personalizing your room and what you pack and etc. Um, I think when I first moved here, I kind of, brought the stuff that I had from home back up into uni and just kind of decorated it like my room up back home. Um, and then obviously we went shopping with our friends, didn't we? So yeah, yeah, went down to Wilco's. Yeah, and just bought, yeah, cheap and bought loads of new things just to make it feel more homely. So is that true then? Maybe you don't have to buy everything before moving in so you can sort out with your people that you're sharing yeah. with? with the kitchen stuff then and stuff Definitely. like that. And obviously in the kitchens already you have the microwave, you have a yeah. kettle and yeah. sometimes in my first year I was like, oh my god, I need a new kettle, I need a new yeah. toaster, but yeah. it's already provided for you anyway. And then I think now we just share like pots and pans because yeah. by the end of third year, you're like, where's my pan? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> where is it? Where's my knife and, not, knife and fork? But yeah. But more serious note, you know, with the rooms, to what extent? Like, you can't just go crazy and paint it every colour, can you? No, I, no we, you know. we ask you don't stick anything to the walls, yeah. um, because obviously when you leave, the paint will come off. Um, we don't allow you to paint the rooms, uh, but otherwise, yeah, it, uh, some of the rooms I've seen, they're absolutely gorgeous, and I <laughs> even walk around and go, oh, where did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the rooms have got big notice boards anyway, yes, haven't they? Yes, so anything yeah. you want to put on the You can put on the notice board, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fairy, <laughs> <fairly light. laughs> We ask that they're battery operated and that they're not yeah. mains operated, that's all, but yeah. Oh, okay. But it is yeah. easy enough to make it your own room, Oh, definitely. It? Yes, yeah, nice little rug on the floor yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, it'd be lovely. <laughs> and uh, there are also opportunities, as you said, to get to know everybody. And, you know, girls, you've been with us for the last 
a couple of shows and what would your advice be now to the people who are coming to join us in September for that first day and for that first week? What's but, your advice? <laughs> well, I think we're this, well, probably the same, but yeah. my main advice would probably be to try everything, get involved with anything and everything because that's the only way, especially on our campuses we have people who live in, like you two, or live at home like us do, and yeah. it's so important to get involved because then you'll get to know everyone, mm -hmm. any club, even if you don't even like it, just join because you'll meet out. people yeah. and you'll get involved and then you'll settle in way quicker. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the same mm. for people who live in. What do you feel? What would you say? Um, yeah, the same as you, really, mm. um, and just trying everything and obviously getting to know the student ambassadors, really, on open yeah. days, yeah. which is really good. And then obviously you get to know them and then obviously you apply to be a student ambassador and mm. you give your point of view. And you guys have all been student ambassadors, haven't you, in your time? And all the students watching today, if they're joining us in September, they can apply to be a student ambassador in their very first year. Yeah. So why would you recommend becoming an ambassador? It's a great way because you feel as though you're a part of a community yeah, and it's more important your role in the university, like we mentioned earlier, you're not a number, you're a name because you have an input. And it was so thing. nice um, to see our Vice Chancellor speak about that mm -hmm. on our show, yeah. um, about how important it is to our staff. You guys yeah. are really important to, to our staff members here and we're one big family, aren't we? And yeah. And you have a relationship then, you get to know staff and on a different, more professional oh, yeah, level, true. you feel more involved. It's just get involved. Brilliant. <laughs> to, to bring all our shows to a close then, one last piece of advice, what would it be? Um, what could it be? I think one of my regrets, I think, is not attending an open day. I think it is important because my first day I came here not knowing where anything was mm. so I think it is nice to get to know people. It's taking you a year and to know the campus yeah. you're like where's our room again? <laughs> yeah just having a, that overview ready I think it is important. And we get to know you as well because yeah. I met Carla at Open Day and now it's lovely to see you you've gone through your journey and now you're a graduate mm. so yeah we get to know you and of course like the girl said book on to our Open Day if you haven't yet chosen a course then we will speak through with you all the courses that are available on all our campuses. And of course, if you are joining us and you haven't been on campus, then come and visit us. It's a, an opportunity for you to meet Jean and all the lecturers and feel part of that family before you start September. So, Delchir Dwarna de Gored, Osachidim with Yigualashaya, Kin Naur, Echnol, go back and see all the other programmes which will give you all the advice that you need to join us at UWTSD. So, Publuk. Uh, good luck and we look forward to seeing you in September. Diolch.